Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Hospitality Hacks, the channel that was created to help the luxury traveler get the most out of their luxury travel lifestyle. In this episode, I want to talk about the reasons that luxury hotels, or most hotels for that matter, do not call you when they find an item that you have left behind. But before we get into that topic, I want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and I do want to let you know that I will be doing giveaways at significant milestones such as a giveaway at 50 subs, a giveaway at 100 subs, 150 subs, 200 subs, so on and so forth. I look forward to giving away fun items that will enhance your travel experience or help to increase the value of your travel experience. For example, wireless earbuds to enjoy music during your flight or a program that shows you how to get the cheapest flights from the best airlines and so on and so forth. Now, back to the topic at hand. Now, the reason luxury hotels don't contact when you leave a personal item behind has to do with two main factors, one being possible infidelity and the other being the turnaround on rooms being so fast that items can be and have been shipped to the wrong person. Let me elaborate. Obviously, hotels take liability very seriously because any mistakes that they make, they have to pay for. So after one mistake where an item is sent back to the wrong guest, then that mistake will never be allowed to happen again. For example, so there was a young lady who was a security supervisor. It was her first time being a security supervisor within a luxury hotel. And she just couldn't wrap her head around the fact that we didn't call guests back once we know that they left something inside of the room. Well, she would soon find out why we don't call back guests once we find out there's something left in a room. There was some jewelry that was left behind in the safe. Once she got the call to retrieve the jewelry, she came back to the office and she decided to call the guests and let them know that they left the items behind. Now, who she ended up getting in contact with was the guest who just left that room's assistant. The assistant, believing that it obviously was the guest's items, told her, yes, those items belong to him. I'll give you an address to send them to. So we mail the items out. The items end up going to New York. Now, the problem is there was a guest that stayed in that room prior. And once that guest left out of that room, housekeeping did not check the safe. They're supposed to check the safe at the every after every checkout. So that way they can say the room is passed and there are no guest items left in there. Well, the guess who those items belong to end up calling the hotel. And we have come to find out that we sent those items out to the wrong person. Now the security department is under pressure to recover these items, which, oh by the way, was jewelry worth upwards of $20,000, and it may be lowballing here. Now, the security director has to reach out to the person who we sent the items to wrongly and get this individual to send the items back. Since they are not his items, his level of concern for sending them back is low. So now the director has to get the police involved to let this individual know that keeping the items is akin to theft. So eventually the items are sent back to the hotel, then the hotel sends the items to the correct guest while still having to compensate both parties for the inconvenience caused by making that original phone call to the wrong guest. And after all of this, she finally understood why we don't make that phone call too little, too late. Now, the second factor for hotels not calling you after you leave a personal item behind being infidelity is a bit easier to understand. Imagine the hotel security calls a former guest after they leave something in a room. On the other end of the line, a man or woman, husband or wife, picks up the phone. The hotel lets them know they, they have recovered an item that they left behind. The man or woman, husband or wife, then says, I had no idea my significant other was at your hotel in your city. Thank you. Now, if that marriage ends because of the call that the hotel made, the person, after going through that divorce, can now sue the hotel for pain and suffering and financial loss. You get the picture. Hotels understand liability and where they can be vulnerable and they will do what's best to avoid that vulnerability. So there you have it. Two of the main factors why hotels don't call guests when they leave personal items behind. Some guests have called back for items and have asked, why didn't you call me? Are you not a luxury hotel that offers the highest level of service? And while these hotels would love to make that call, the amount of loss that could come from making the wrong call at the wrong time is too much for that hotel 
or their mother company to consider. So now the reasoning is clear. Thank you for listening. And I will make sure that I do include more experiences to paint pictures of the information that I'm bringing to you all. I have a little different saying for this episode. Nobody is as deaf as those who do not want to listen. All right, so listen, learn, and grow. Until next time, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when I upload another video, and follow me on social uh, for quality artwork I think you will enjoy. Links are in the description below. See you on the next one. Until then, peace.